But wait, wait, wait. See you on another episode. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What am I supposed to say? Uh, this is a reptiles episode. Hi everyone, my name is Vishwa and you are watching Facts No Printer, a show where we talk about all fun things about facts about the world and beyond. In this episode, we are talking about the coolest group of animals on the planet, in my opinion. Don't attack me, y'all. I grew up with some of these animals in the house, so we are talking about reptiles today. What are reptiles? First and foremost, reptiles are a group of cold-blooded vertebrates which have scaly skin and also usually have shelled eggs when they give birth. Reptiles generally have so many cool and unique features, so let's learn more about them. But before we do that, some examples of reptiles are turtles, snakes, lizards, alligators, chameleons, crocodiles, all those cool animals, and more. So I mentioned that reptiles are cold-blooded, but how? Cold-bloodedness is also called ectothermic, so these animals rely on external heat sources to regulate their body temperature. They cannot internally regulate it like us, so they do have to do things like seek shade actively or just bask in the sun to change their internal temperature. The reproduction of the, some reptile species is also interesting. Some give birth to live animals, which is called Vivia paris, including some snakes and lizards. Some species lay eggs, um, which then hatch with the animal called oviparos. And here's the cool part. Some reptile species can give birth through parothogenesis, which is up here, which is when the females can produce offspring without fertilization from the male. So the egg becomes an actual viable living individual without the need for genetic material from a male. So cool. It's also seen in many species like geckos, komodo dragons, and skinks. Did you know that turtles do not live in their shells? They are their shells, which is a concept that is quite unique. The shell has two main parts. The top is called the carapace and the bottom is called the plasteron. It's fused to the skeleton of the turtle, so the turtle doesn't live in the shell, it is physi physiologically a part of its body. The shell is supposed to provide support and protection of the body of the turtle. If you look at, the, if you look at a picture of the skeleton actually, you'll see what I mean. So cool. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest turtles on the planet, some weighing up to 900 kil kilograms, which is mind-boggling but they're also unique as they don't have a bony and hard shell as previously said this is how they differ from other turtles they instead have an oily and leather-like skin for its shell making it flexible and leading to its name okay one more turtle fact the last one for this video i promise but did you know that turtles can breathe through their butts not all species and not in the way that you may be thinking right now but some, such as the Fitzroy River Turtle, can actually absorb oxygen through the skin um, in a part of their cloaca, which is a cavity at the end of the digestive tract for reproduction and excretion. This term is called cloacal respiration, and it's actually quite common in amphibians too, actually. There's a species of crocodile called the gharial, which is a species native to India. It has a very long and thin snout, looking, for, looking quite different to other crocodiles, actually. The reason for this is because it's adapted to catching fish, mainly because it usually primarily eats aquatic prey. Did you know that geckos have feet that self-clean? Their feet are incredibly sticky that allow them to cling onto many different surfaces quite quickly, but yet their feet don't need special outside cleaning. Their feet are covered in millions of tiny bristle-like hairs called setae. It's the very thing that both allows them to stick onto these surfaces, but also self-clean in the sense that it doesn't let dirt and dust stick to the feet. Reptiles are so cool. I love snakes, turtles, crocodiles, all that jazz. One of my favorite thing about them is feeling their skin and snail scales. I actually grew up with a turtle. It was a red-eared slider, and I got him when he was so incredibly tiny, when he was like this tiny. The little paws. I don't think it's called paws, claws. I think that's the right word. Anyways, before I go on more of a tangent, that brings us to the end of this episode. I learned a lot of fun facts about reptiles and different reptile species whilst researching, researching for this episode. And I hope you learned something new too whilst watching it. I hope your love or at least tolerance for reptiles have grown whilst watching this. 
But thank you for watching this episode of Facts No Printer and see you next time. Bye.